All right, Australian, New Zealand, Canadian dollars. Let's see. Now this one, well, there you go. Yesterday came all the way into that zone. I marked this in yesterday because there's a gap here. So this was like, actually I marked this in, in the beginning of the week. I think. Let me see. It's Wednesday, yesterday, Tuesday, yeah, Monday. This is Monday's chart. So we mark this in. As you can see, I extended that level. Market comes in nicely, bounces off. And this was like beautiful fall down, as you can see. Didn't get there, but it did bounce off the pretty much the PST level there, as you can see. Okay. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. I think selling on top of that is the way to go. So during the Astro hours, I think it's sellable to push down. Where did it break down? Let's see. On the daily. Um, yeah, on the daily it's in the zone here. But it's been in that zone, you see, once, twice, three times now. So, poof. at Astro Hours, I think it's sellable. Okay, simply because you know, this zone, probably, or that one there where the sell-off happened. So, let me draw that in. If the market comes up into this zone and let's include that it's doable but today like I said you've got to be a bit careful okay um, and if you bought yesterday here then well done you know it's like pretty much that was the zone okay so we're in traits here um, straights so what you want to do is don't trade in between just trade at the limits okay if that's what you're going to do something it's a bit tricky new zealand dollar okay yes i said leave this one alone pretty much it all goes the same anyway but that was the price zone as you can see the market nearly done that and just moved down so i'm not sure what's going to happen with this one leave this alone as well okay because it's just like down here this is a buy zone okay still this is a buy zone so the market coming down in order to go up is okay um but at the end of the day as well there's a bit of gap to fill here as well so the market can still push down so leave it alone canadian dollar now with this one i said from the highs next week we could you know we'd like to sell so leave it at that as well let it come up to a place and next week we want to be selling this okay we'll, we'll see how things pan out but let's focus on selling that next week from some level and not push our lucks so right now we're like in chop chop zone for australian new zealand and the canadian dollars so no need to stick around in that chop chop zone just let it come to some place and then we'll take it from there Let's take a look at NASDAQ, DAX, OZ200, and see how things pan out. <clears throat> All right, so this is NASDAQ. Now look. NASDAQ, Astro Hours, this was the level I marked in yesterday, remember? So, I marked in the Astro Hours today at 9.15, okay, in the members area. So, you already have that, okay, uh, 9.20 actually. So, that's that. Let's get rid of this. Okay, and until lunchtime this should continue to go down now remember i marked this in with the pst levels right let's see on the weekly there as you can see okay so market goes up nice and easy we should sell off okay uh, and it's also taken the liquidity here behind the trend line so exactly at the locations that i said market comes in turning around okay if you know financial astrology you would have already marked that in at 2 40 a.m let's see that's 2 40 5 there okay and then the wait thursday sorry two yeah 2 40 and 4 15 All right 4 15 where are we 4 15 is there 
so right there at the astro hours market selling off now if it doesn't break up it's going to continue down and it should go down like i said you know until like new york afternoon so if it breaks down even further we should be going in that direction until closure so be mindful today it could be like coming and going or it could be like coming and breaking and going okay so be careful but that was the level that was the target that was the astro hour yesterday going all the way into the target astro hours today and so forth all right so be mindful if the market hangs around here there could be a break outwards okay it could be break outwards so until about 3 p.m or 4 3 4 p.m it could still like um you know change is not going to really happen until those hours so be careful Oz 200 okay Oz 200 there we are okay so that was the zone we marked in market goes up sells off what to do well there you go all right so that's the impulse wave market selling off again you had a level there yesterday or the day before i put a level there anyway on the weekly where are well we got room to come down guys because there's nothing to talk about we've got room to come down okay so this is a real downwards trend we should be going down further dax sell point 41 first 15055 15055 is there all right so this zone where the market can sell off because we've got a bit of gap here but it's filled in it looks like it's filled in that gap there and so on let's see what it can do as long as we don't go above that 41 which is 15055 we should still be heading down okay we should still be heading down maybe into 14489 14 Four eight nine. Well, around here, okay. So that's that. Okay, like I said, be mindful in the New York session. 